growing up in Newham was, I was fun. Everyone was rapping, everyone was trying to make beats. Like Newham sort of known for grime and although I grew up among that, I kind of did veer off. I got really into sort of harmony and things like that. It's the link between music and emotion that I, I really got interested in. So I recorded a driver and he told me a story of a boy that was smoking in his car. The boy got out of the car, the police came to the car, but the guy didn't tell them where the boy had gone, but he was angry at him. But he felt like he had to protect him from the police. And yeah, that's how Confliction came about and the name comes from the confliction between the two. And I think the sound of it kind of does lean to the story. First, third, and fourth time. Yeah. Is your snare is your snare high or, or low? It's pretty low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. Let's go from this chord actually, and then I'll just look at you. My process has developed over the years to where I did go from you know bedroom producing and playing in everything myself to bringing people in who I feel like would be better than me for the job. Like, you know, I can play guitar for an idea, but then you know, I can also just get Jamie to come in and play it better, because that's his thing, you know? It was more of a electronic sort of world I was in, where people make beats in their bedroom. I didn't know too many people that even played an instrument. Yeah, I think that works though. Yeah, it's the one yeah. I reckon. So it's tight as a whole, I think. Yeah. Well. I've got strings of some kind on most of the projects I've put out, but nothing in orchestral format, just normally works with quartets. It's been a struggle because I can't write sheet music, so I've had to do trial and error to get it the way I need it to be. At LCO, we really enjoy working with artists from different musical spaces, and one of the first things that often comes up is that the artists will be concerned that they don't read or write sheet music. There's a certain way to explain something that will take me hours to convey. It doesn't matter, we're talking about sound, we're talking about feelings, you know, emotions. Well, the orchestrator's instrumental and she translates that into ink on the page. It was really easy for me to work on it because the material he gave me was so clean. The orchestral uh, stuff and the jazz stuff is, is actually part of the history of jazz, you know? And now it's just moving towards a different kind of sound, you know, especially with the new school UK scene. I guess I want the orchestra to play what I feel is, you know, proper hip hop everything is slightly behind or straight, straight but just back. exactly yeah can you can you hear ali you well i think it's i think it's great um i was just uh, wondering when there's the hole in sample it should be a tad more softer Sometimes what's written on the page doesn't necessarily look like how it feels. So to have that time to work out how it feels was really valuable. There's, there's a way of writing it down, but I, I'll just use this luxury of being able to talk to them. Yeah, to just basically babble and be like, do you get what I mean, you get what I mean? Because like, you can't do that through sheet music, you know? Well, I can't anyway. Actually, it's so much better to just get rid of the technical side. You know, everything's in Italian and stuff. It's still like almost like quite quite old fashioned. And actually, the minute you get that out of the way, it was really obvious that actually yeah, yeah, exactly. we're just going for the same goal, which is telling a story. 
Oh, that would be, be good to discuss with Alpha. In Confliction, it was more than necessary to have that cinematic feel. You have that kind of story that, that's being told. When I heard it, I, I thought about very old Disney movie tracks, you know. Very silverish and, you know. What does silver mean? Is that I saw it coming, like silver to. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. All right, cool, cool. All right. I've described music in colors and stuff before, but I wasn't sure whether silver was a classical music sort of thing that I didn't know. And I was like, that's a great word for it. We just got to add that to the music dictionary that we've got. And, and yeah, we're just rolling with it. It's going to be amazing to just hear something I've written in my bedroom played by, by you guys and you know I appreciate you taking out the time. There's a general point on the quavers, we might swing those a bit, but just keep an ear out for the groove of the drums and the bass. I've never done anything to this scale. I can't even imagine how good it's gonna be, do you know what I mean? to this point where full orchestra. Mine's a bit more open, I can write for a lot more stuff now. You know, something you've written being performed by an orchestra, yeah. It's just a completely different vibe you get. It's been fantastic, and especially being able to get together quite a large complement of strings, and to be in a space like this, making music together at this moment in time, um, I think everyone's been quite affected by that, actually, and having um, Alpha at the front, you know, leading that, inspiring us has been really special.